Hi there. In this video, we will create a JavaScript function to internationalize numbers. So sometimes you want to present numbers in readable format and that readable format take many forms. Okay. So we have to use punctuation to, to format the number. Okay. So however, there are different punctuation based on different internationalization so some countries use comma while others use dot for decimal okay so in this video i will show how you can create a common function or you can say uh, provided by javascript that will take argument as a number and it will return format number okay so let's see how you can do that. First of all, we will take a number. Let's say take this number as input and we are expecting output as this. Okay. So we are taking this number. So first method we will use, um, you can say number primitive. Okay. So first of all, let's say constant X is equal to number dot. There is one function for number primitive that is called to local string okay. and we are not passing any argument so let's log this x and see how it is formatting for us so let's open console and as you can see it is adding here and dot 81 okay so 14,607.81. So here is the comma. So what exactly this function do? So this is doing basic decimal formatting and we are not providing any uh, local value in the argument. Okay. So it will use local provided by browser. So right now I'm in, I'm in India. So it will take this format. This is common in India. This is the format we are looking for in India. Okay. So this is one example. If you want to make some changes here, what you can do, you can pass a specific local. So here you can pass be dash be. Okay. And let's go to our Wikipedia and number formatting to see or what is this d d format is so it should be some uh, code for german okay so let's see how it is returning so now if we save we will see something like this 14.60781 so let me control z and let me copy this again and as argument d dash d e okay let's make it y and so we can compare our output okay so you can see it's no argument here you can see the number format is something like this and let me log y it is different in german okay so when you pass local like d you can check with this as well and you will see something different so this is something different we can understand but yeah and again if we pass india and you can see it should be similar let's see results are same because this is same when we pass nothing it will take browser browsers local value and this is from India okay so uh, this is very basic number formatting okay so the third value we can check is uh, let's keep it constant z is equal to number dot to local string and here you can pass 
same value let's say b dash b for german and here in second argument what we can do so here what we can do we can pass style let's keep it value as currency the style value okay and second value we can pass is currency and let's keep it value as euro eur okay then let's log this value as well so dot log z and it should return something like this so this is formatting the currency like we are passing this tile as currency the value is currency and again currency is euro okay so you can check with this option as well you want to uh, when you want to um, format with detail okay so there is another way like constant s is equal to i and el that is object dot number format that is function and what exactly this do we will see example on this ndn but right now we can pass value as en dot us dash us and again in second argument what we can do we can pass style value as currency and currency value we can pass gbp gbps currency value okay let's see what it returns so let's log s variable and see so it is form it is giving us this object number format and also we can pass format function to make it exactly what we want so you can see now this is the readable, readable format which you see on applications or websites right so you can pass something like this as well here you can also pass INR that is Indian rupees and you can see here the rupee symbol with this format okay so you can pass this value as well so here on Wikipedia you can see we have this code the country code okay so currency code you can say and there are multiple currency code that you can use for this function and what about this function this is a function intl dot number format this object enables language sensitive number formatting so here you can see it will create a new object with this argument okay here you can see there is another argument possible as well with currency and style you can pass maximum significant digits okay and when you pass this it will change formatting like this so you can keep it 5 and it will give like this you can give it 9 and it will be like dot 81 so it is um, there are few options that you can also pass with this function okay so um, you can say there are multiple functions available in javascript that you can use to format your number as currency Okay, so you don't need to uh, use or install any third party library for that. That's good. Okay, guys. All right, guys, that's all for this video. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you have any questions or any suggestions, you can leave your comments below. And if you are new to my channel, you can visit my channel. There are more than 190 videos on my channel till the date, till the date and I'm uploading more videos. Please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting. Thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you next time. Bye.